Hood Talk News. We on fire. Yo, yo, yo. What's good? What's good? Man. Man, uh, I was just listening to old cowboy talk about, you know, how Nip, how he felt about Nipsey and how Nipsey felt about him. Nipsey was the only one that really, you know, gave a fuck about him. We're going to listen to what Cowboy got to say, and then I'm going to come back with my commentary. Even when Nip was young, you know, when he was young, the nigga, he, he looked up to me a lot, you know, and I and I didn't do nothing but just try to guide him in the right direction. Uh, you know, uh, I started looking up to him. I started looking up to bro when... Uh, I seen that he was a real business minded and he was on on some grown man shit. Uh I think at the time, uh I was I was smoking some dope. I might have been walking down Slauson and some shit. Uh Nip pulled up on me and uh I was like, bro, man, I'm tired of this shit. You know what I mean? I had a pipe in my hand and shit. Uh I jumped in the car with Nip. And I took my last little blast, blew that shit out the window, threw the pipe out the window, and uh bro took me to the studio let me uh sleep for a couple days you know uh it was that love and that, that's when he was coming up with that hundred dollar cd it was, it was that love right there and that genuine love that uh like i said that i always had the utmost respect for bro uh one thing about nymp he never judged me no matter what i did you know what i mean if i was right or wrong he'd come give me some advice he'd be like bro you need to get your shit together you know uh uh, out of all, I might got a thousand homies uh, when I was out there fucking up and I was on drugs and uh, I was uh, getting into it with the homies and shit. Uh, I think out of a thousand homies, uh, maybe seven or eight homies <clears throat> pulled me to the side at different times. Like, hey, bro, get your shit together. You better than that. Get your shit together. So, you know, uh, that taught me a lot about uh, my hood and, and all the individuals, you know, you feel your whole hood love you, but out of them thousand people, when you down and out, it was them seven people that pulled me to the side and uh, and, and told me to get my shit together. You know what I mean? So uh, I respect Nymp because uh, Nymp never changed on me. He didn't give a fuck if I was, if I was uh, dragging my feet down Sloss and uh, smoking some dope, he'd pull up, throw me in the car, uh, he wasn't gonna give me no money, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I would say he, he'd give me some, he'd give me something to make some money though, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, he was that type, you know what I mean? Say, bro, uh, let me hold, let me hold some bread. He's like, hey, bro, uh, I, I'll give you this. I'll give you this right here is so you ain't gotta be asking me every week, you know what I mean? I, I respected him for that. I respected him for his, uh, his decision making, the way he made decisions, uh, I respected him for that for sure. Now, see, this is the shit that I be trying to tell, cowboy. Just shut the fuck up when it come to Nip. If you can't, if if these niggas can't talk to you about something good about Nip, then don't talk at all. Don't go against what Sam say. Don't go against nothing because you just sat here and told us how Nip felt. And I told y'all in the previous uh, uh, video. I said, God damn it, cowboy out there on that shit. And he felt like, you know what I'm saying, you, he let Nip down. You know what I'm saying? Nip was trying to get him right, tell him to take care of stuff and all type of shit. And he, he he hurting because he feel like he let Nip down and shit. And so that's why I try to tell him. When goddamn Sam is talking, let that man have his moment. You already jumped the fuck out there on day one and did what the fuck you had to do. In the name of your friend, you know what I'm saying? In the name of your brother. Let his brother have it. Because you don't really know what's going on, man. You can just uh, suspect shit. You can you just, you know what I'm saying, think shit, that, you know what I'm saying, and don't really know what the fuck going on. You don't know what this man know. You don't know what. You know, I, I, that's, for that reason, I just stay the fuck out of it. You know you love Nip to death. You know he love your, your ass. You know what I'm saying? You know how he tried to take care of you and shit, man, when nobody else didn't, man. So how you going to undermine what his fucking brother's saying, bro? How you going to undermine what the fuck he's saying? That's why you need to sit back and shut the fuck up because you don't know what really happened, man. You was in the store with your head down so you couldn't see what the fuck happened. And a lot of people want to, you know, come with that shit about if he sent him this, this, he would have went this way and that way. Listen, when you send a fool to do a goddamn job, it ain't no certain way he going to come, goddamn. He could come any kind of goddamn way. That don't mark out that somebody sent him. 
that don't mark that out because he came this way or that way or didn't do it the way you, you know what I'm saying, thought he would have did it. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. It, it, it don't work like that. It don't work like that. People could come any kind of goddamn way. That don't mean somebody didn't send them. And, and the thing I don't get right, cowboy, you say all this stuff. And I already knew this. Like I said, I said all this shit in a, in a previous video about you and how you and Nip relationship was. Nip not been to tell you all this goddamn business, who he got to be with, or none of that shit. You was the, you was the uh, homeboy, that the dope head homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to say nothing bad about you, dog. But you was the dope head homeboy. I'm just calling it like I see it because I see you want to get mad at bloggers and shit for having their opinion. But like I said before, you was the dope head homeboy that Nip was trying to help out, man, trying to get back on his feet. So you don't, you don't probably too much know shit about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because he wouldn't have fed you that much information to know about this business deal or that business deal or who you got to be with. Even though you got on your website that you and Nip was business partners. God damn it. Yes, you do. So, you know, we ain't going to talk about that. But I don't think Nip would have. You just explained yourself. Nip wouldn't even let you in his business that goddamn far. And you going, you going around undermining what Sam said. You won't even let the man get his shit off, but you got your shit off. This the shit I'm talking about, bro. This is the shit I'm talking about. So what you need to do is stop campaigning for niggas. Because you heard what you just said. Nip was the only motherfucker had your back. You need to stop holding niggas up in they wrong, god damn it. Because you don't know what the fuck going on. God damn it. You don't know what's going on. You was like you say, you just seen his back, god damn it, which we all know ain't goddamn true. Come on, man. I don't understand, you know, what's your problem with what Sam had to say. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. You want to run out here? You want to you want to fight everybody? And oh, man, you won't sit down somewhere, man. That's that that what make a motherfucker look real guilty when you running out here and you want to do this or that. What you need to be trying to do is get on that phone, holler at Sam, and let him know you know like you ain't got shit to do with nothing that's going on. Do his shit. You talking about put a name on it and shit. Put a name on what? If you ain't got something to do with it, why is you jumping up? Talking about put a goddamn name on it. But this is the shit I told y'all before. You know what I'm saying? I, this is what I told y'all before. Cowboy was that friend, and he basically just said the same thing I told y'all. So, therefore, he need to shut the fuck up, stay out of it. And, and if Sam came out here, right, and he said, hey, look, this what it is. And didn't give a fuck about putting the name on it. Let the bloggers do what they do. Because they hit dog with holler and they already hollering. Nobody ain't even say a name. Sam just threw it out there, right? And the bloggers just went crazy on it. Who they suspect. You get what I'm saying? Who 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 we feel we that had something to do with it, goddammit. And them niggas just went to jump. Yeah, matter of fact, them niggas were jumping out the window for a blogger made their first goddamn video. For any of us made any video, them niggas was already out the window. Oh, talking about me. Come on, man. Y'all niggas is something else, boy. Y'all niggas is something else. But man, listen, man. I just came to bring y'all that real quick, man. Like, share, and subscribe to the realest platform on the planet. Hood Talk News. I'm out. Sports too fucking clean for some golden gooses. Pull up on these shits, we popping out, nigga. We making movies. Haters wanna know how we do it. My teacher say I'm a good influence. Put me in a room that sit up back, watch me start speaking fluent. Long as my mama good, long as my daddy good. She consider me the modern day Robin Hood. We get this shit popping, could've stopped it, nigga, if you could. We get this shit popping, we dropping niggas off some love. Respected by the realest thugs, never been a thug, but feel every thug need some love. Caught up in the matrix, wrist shining like Mike Glove. Another one fit that big ol' shine like a light bulb. We gon' keep it slight, cuz any nigga might budge. He ran and got his fellas, cuz he jealous and they don't like us. I'm trying to tame the beast and keep the peace, but they ain't right, bruh. They wanna start the beef from living life and they ain't like us. Way too cool for sports, too fucking clean for some golden gooses. Pull up on these shits, we popping out, nigga. We making movies. Haters wanna know how we do it. My teacher say I'm a good influence. Put me in a room next to the bat, watch 
me start speaking fluent long as my mama good Long as my daddy good She consider me the modern day Robin Hood We get this shit poppin' Could've stopped it nigga if you could We get this shit poppin' We droppin' niggas off some love And haters wanna see us go We poppin' out this bitch like a motherfuckin' TV show More baddies than the baddies And I ain't tryna get married on some upscale shit And lil' mama, lil' savage God damn, can I grab it? I'm just playin' but can I grab it? They say the way I flip this money I should be in gymnastics Say the way I kill this beat You should dead it in the casket Watch the way I'm pullin' up Matt Black so nasty Slow mash and I let him pull past me Once I hit the gas, man, they know it's no catching. Competition waitin', fakin', hatin' for no reason All my competition might be dead in prison, now I see the vision. Stay true to your religion. She made them catch the Holy Ghost. She popped it like a pistol. She made us spin up all this dope by acting like she missed him. Now he got issues. Give his eyes a tissue. Way too cool for sports. Too fucking clean for some golden gooses. Pull up on these shits. We popping out, nigga. We making movies. Haters wanna know how we do it. My teacher say I'm a good influence. Put me in a room that sit up back. Watch me start speaking fluent. Long as my mama good. Long as my daddy good. She consider me the modern day Robin Hood. We get this shit popping. Could've stopped it, nigga, if you. Could. We get this shit poppin', we droppin' niggas off some love Way too cool for sports, too fucking clean for some golden gooses Pull up on these shits, we poppin' out, nigga, we makin' movies Haters wanna know how we do it, my teacher say I'm a good influence Put me in a room next to the back, watch me start speaking fluent Long as my mama good, long as my daddy good She consider me the modern day Robin Hood We get this shit poppin', could've stop it, nigga, if you could We get this shit poppin', we droppin' niggas off some love Pull up on these shits, we poppin' out, nigga, we makin' movies Consider me the